Hello, this is Shilpa here. Now that you've understood the different potencies and the relationship with susceptibility in disease and during remedy proving, let's look at a template which I, I find very easy to use in practice, especially when looking at cases um, at different stages. So this template is in centesimal scale. And as if you understood, it depends what's high and low with relationship to different remedies, with relationship to different individuals. However, this could form a real basic guideline for you. So let's look at stage one. When you take a case or when, I, when, you, when the patient himself or herself is at stage one and symptoms expressed only at that stage, it generally means the disease is quite one-sided. So it means that the patient has really um, common disease diagnostic symptoms and lots of pathophysiology. And obviously there are no PQRS elicited at any level, locally or generally. And hence the susceptibility in such an individual is very low. Now this is quite different to some people who would practice only at stage one, irrespective of whether the patient has expressed at stage one or not. Because patients could express at a higher stage, but you might choose just to use stage one symptoms. That's a different scenario because the susceptibility then could be a bit different. However, we are talking about a scenario when the, st when the patient himself is only expressing symptoms at stage one and that's all you've got. So in this case, the susceptibility is quite low. So now with the remedy, um, as you've seen in the provings, the symptoms of the remedy matched would be really low pathophysiological organic diseases. So in such a case, the potency is quite low. You could probably use really crude remedies or you could really use very low dilutions. Or sometimes it could be a state where homeopathic remedies might just not work in extreme low potency. So it's just a state where you have to give material doses or even refer this person to an allopathic uh, physician because um, homeopathic potencies will just not work. Now in such a case, um, that would be the low centesimal scale below 12C. At stage 2, what we are looking are localized symptoms. But in this case, if that person is expressing some sort of peculiars at a local level, we can call that a stage two. So in this case, the susceptibility is not very low, but there is a medium susceptibility because the person as an individual is expressing some sort of peculiars at a localized level. So at this stage, you could give a low to medium potency because the symptoms will match at that particular potency and the, dis and the remedy in the provings have created those sorts of localized peculiar symptoms. So the potencies I look at are 12C to 30C. So this is again a very general guideline, but it just tells you this is the low potency or a medium potency for people who would um, express only at stage two. Next, let's go to stage three. Now, in this case, if patients are expressing at stage three, obviously they're expressing lots of peculiar general mental states quite well elaborated. Sometimes they could express wonderful dreams and delusions and um, could express um, concomitants. And in this case, you could get quite peculiar localized symptoms as well. So in, in such a case, the susceptibility is quite high or even um, in this case, you can actually consider um, giving remedies in high to very high potency, so which could be between 200 to 1M. Now, at this stage, the remedies in provings have not really created these sorts of symptom pictures because not every remedy has been proven in 201M. But what's happened is during clinical experiences of different homeopaths who've been working at stage three, you realize that they these are the patients respond very well to such high potencies. In fact, low potencies do not elicit much of a reaction in such people because they require those higher potencies to match them at that level. And that's how the correlation has been um, associated. And then lastly, let's look at patients who express at stage four. This is a very interesting phenomenon because very rarely you see patients who walk into a clinic with such extremes high susceptibility. But it's not a, it's, I have had a case where the patient expressed only at the sensation level and, and he 
expressed his headache as an absolute sensitivity to being compressed and expanding. So in such a case where the sensitivity is all about the experiences around and at the core of their being, you can look for very high potencies. And in such a case, you again don't have any proving symptoms to go with. But what I've realized is to this particular patient, I gave a 1M of the remedy and it, it created a reaction for just a day and then he didn't really respond to it. And then I had to give him a higher potency, more than 1M, to create a response. And interestingly, such a person had taken about 30 homeopathic remedies, mostly in the lower potencies, and they have not and they had not worked previously. So he was really curious to know why would homeopathics not really work on him when he was so much into it. And that was really a very interesting situation that he had such high susceptibility. Again, the symptoms are matched at a very core sensation and, and the energy patterns and hence they will rarely react to very low potencies or lower potencies and need very high potencies to really initiate a reaction. So hope this really explains. This template has been developed not just with one strategy or with one particular homeopath because different homeopaths work at different stages and it's based on the general extraction of the of the um, homeopaths who've given quotes in different books that I've realized that different stages would require these ascending potencies because the more the disease expressed more at the core level rather than at the superficial pathological end products of the disease. So that's how the disease starts right at the core of your being expressing to the end which is a pathological end product and the potencies change in that direction. So thank you so much and I would love to have your um, views on potencies and the way you actually use potency and relate them to your patients because it's such a grey area in homeopathy and the more we actually share and combine our experiences the better it would be to um, provide our patients the best of homeopathic knowledge. Thank you so much. Bye bye.